Welcome to my channel. This is my daily analysis on gold and GBP USD. Today is 4th of April 2024. So we bought gold yesterday and it's in profit right now, but it has not gone into one to two. So I'm still holding and we also sold GBP USD yesterday and we lost the GBP USD we sold yesterday. So, before I do my today's analysis, let's talk about money management. This is the reason why some people lose money in forex trading. The lack of money management. So, the part of money management I'm talking about is this. Don't risk different amounts of money when you're trading. When you're trading, if you choose to risk 1% of your account, and for instance, 1% of your account is $100, and you choose to risk 1% of your account in the first trade you are entering. Every trade you are going to enter, make sure that you keep risking that 1% until maybe you reach to certain amount of money. Maybe you have made a lot of profit. You decided to, okay, let me change this percentage I'm risking. Or maybe let me increase it to 1.5% or to 2% or let me reduce it to 0.5%. That's how you, you should do it. Don't just risk 1% today or you enter one trade now and risk 1% and you enter on that trade, you are risking 2%. You will never be a profitable trader that way. You will never be a profitable, profitable trader because you don't know that, you don't know, okay, you risk 1% on this particular trade, you made money. And on the next trade, you risk 2%. You, you don't know whether you win that or you lose that trade. If you lose that trade, definitely you are going back to zero. Except you are going back to negative. You, are, you, 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 will, you will automatically be on drawdown. When you risk, for instance, you risk 1% and make two as you, get, as you win 1 to 2, meaning you risk $100, you win $200. Then, in the next trade, you end up risking two hundred dollars. You used to risk hundred dollar before. Then, in the next trade, you end up risking two dollars. If you lose that two hundred dollars, you you as you risk, you know that you are you, you as you already lost the two hundred dollars you made from the first trade you took, which you risk hundred dollar and made two hundred dollars. So, always risk one particular amount for a long time. If you start with $100, keep risking $100 in every trade you are entering. Until when you raise your money to start amount, before you can switch to another one. Because if you keep risking different amount of money in each trade, you don't know the one that will benefit you. Maybe what you made when you risk small amount of money, you will lose it all in one trade. When you, as in, maybe in the next trade, you risk, a, you risk a bigger money, you will lose out that one immediately. And how can you be able to achieve this? You have to know how to calculate your pips. And you don't use particular loss size in every trade. Some people want to, okay, I'm using one standard loss size. So they want to be having that feelings. Say they are using one standard loss size. No. Because you can only use one standard loss size in every trade if you have a fixed stop loss. If you don't have a fixed stop loss, and you keep using one standard loss size in every trade you are entering. The, the amount of money you will be losing in each trade will be different, and the amount of money you will be making in each trade will be different. And with this, maybe if you are following someone's signal, you, you end up losing money. That person you are following his signal is making money. Why? You are not, you are not doing your money management right, and you end up telling that this person is not profitable, or the person's signal is not working. No. You are the one that's not managing your money well. If you're in my Telegram channel, you should be making money by now. Because if you are, as all the trades are two, some of them goes one to two. And if you are following all the trades I'm sending out there, and you are doing your risk management properly, you'll be making money. Because when you lose, you lose one as one percent of what you are making because we target one to two. So if you risk hundred dollars, you make two hundred dollars. And when we are losing, you lose 100. You still have 100 left. 
for you to enter another trade. Then if you lose two times, that's when you will lose what you made. The, when without, if you lose two times, that's when you will lose what you made in one trade. So try learn how to do your money management. I will make a full video on this. But this is Mandela analysis, so let me stop here. But I believe that you guys understand what I'm trying to explain. But I will make a full video on this this week, guys. So let's go to it, Mandela analysis. So this is my analysis. I'm starting with GPUAZ. So this is daily time frame of GPUAZ. So you can see that GPUSD broke this low and started moving up back. It didn't continue the downtrend and it almost, okay, it did change of character here already with this shadow. Took it out with shadow, but there is daily moving average here. Wish this daily moving average might drop this GPUSD, but <clears throat> I can't really tell. But so it's done change of character because it take, it take, it take out this side with the shadow. So this is four hours time frame. So this is what I'm looking at for here. Now you can see that it took out this high with a little bit shadow and there is different support here. So what I'm waiting for now is GPU to come back to this boss I drew here, which is moving average is also here, 50 moving average and trend line <clears throat> is also here. So if GPU is a come back to this, boss then i will look for my entry on 15 minutes time frame which my bias on gpu is now is up train and what i'm looking at for here now is to buy so if you drop coming to here inside here i will look for w pattern or double button which the pattern the button they are the same or head and shoulder then i will use it and take this rate so this is the pattern I will look for here, W pattern or head and shoulder. Then I will use it and take this trade, guys. So this is my bias or what I'm looking at from GPUAZ. So I'll be entering this trade somewhere here. And as usual, I will target my one to two. So this is what it will be. And Next analysis will be on gold. Already we bought gold yesterday. I told you guys that if gold hasn't came into this boss, I will look for buy, which you can see that it touched this trend line first, which didn't hold immediately and later this boss then when you take out you can see that there is a lot of double bottom here you can see call it w pattern but when you take out this high it didn't take it out with body it broke it with shadow which which i didn't have enough confidence to take the trade but because of this resistance here which when this one came to broke this high didn't break it also Broke to the shadow. So it keep just keep dropping shadow, shadow, shadows. That's why I didn't take that straight early because it keep dropping shadows. And you know what it means. Whenever market is getting to one particular resistance or support, and whenever they it hit, it drops shadow, hit and drop shadow, there is every chance, there is every possibility that it will reject from there and start dropping down or going the opposite side because of it's rejecting from that support, that resistance. So all these shadows makes me not to take this trade earlier from here so i waited for it to take out this particular high which it did here without dropping shadow you take it out without dropping any shadow then i bought the gold here and just a little bit draw i just came back to retest this moving average and start moving up so it only it, it almost gave us one to one that yesterday get to here almost one to one 0 0.9393 that's what we went to almost one to one before i started dropping but it's still in profit but i'm still holding i'm not closing yet because i believe that it will still go up 
So I don't know how long I will hold this. I will hold this trade, but I'm holding it. I'm not going in after any time soon because I want to give me one to two. So if you took this trade, I'm still holding mine. So I hope that you are still holding yours. Let's see how we play out today and tomorrow. But there is no, there is no farm payroll tomorrow. They have no farm payroll news tomorrow. If you didn't hit our TP today, I'm still gonna hold it till tomorrow. But before the non farm payroll news, let's see how where the trade will be. Whether it will hit our TP before then, I don't know. But let's see how it play out, guys. <clears throat> so this is my analysis today, and God bless.